bring the wellies because it's Sunday. Slab prep day today. There's our 19mm jab for the cold bridging strip. There's Alex. Oh, it's Sunday the 7th, by the way. So we're getting the slab prep today. We've only come in at 9 o'clock. There's no point rushing in too early. There's not a lot to do. It's not a full day's work, so we're going to get the stone levelled out, top up with what's left, and then I've got to nip off to B&Q and get some grit sand because I forgot to go on Saturday while I was doing nothing. It didn't work yesterday. So I'll just uh, stone up or walk off, move the stone around while they're doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. And then Monday, we've got to ring up first thing because I forgot to ring up about concrete yesterday. So I'm hoping we can get someone for tomorrow afternoon. We're going to stone up around the edge as well, up to two below. Give it nice and flat for us to work on. So level with the uh, top of the brick? Actually level with it and then it gets whackered. Okay. The whackering should set it. Okay, since I think we'll make this a step-by-step -step video how-to, uh, we'll show you where we're up to so far. So, our brick works up to DPC. We've um, we're thrown a bit of stone around the outside just for, for, for us working. Kept it down on the, on the corner to get our profiles in. And then Alex is going to get the rest of this done later. But uh, yeah, it's a 250 cavity wall. We've been allowed by the Builder Control to do it 250 which looks very weird but uh, yeah it's to get it's just to gain as much floor area as possible block works backed up in seven newton block returned where the doors are so that the concrete floor returns back to the brickwork the point is putting brickwork across there and then you, your floor stops there because your damp can come up through the brickwork past your floor so that's why we do that um alex has just raked all the stone as level as we can get it for now we're about to put the, the tamp together on the brickwork so it's nice and flat and then we can pull the tamp across and Alex can measure down the stone to make sure we're right with the stone and while he's doing all that I'm going to nip off and get some some grit sand for blinding um, yeah it's Sunday so I've got to wait till 10 o'clock till B&Q opens so we had enough in a minute so once the tamp's over like I say you can measure it get it near enough and then we can start whackering it which is on its way down I'll give you a lift with that yeah don't forget the the, uh, the um, ear defenders for that. Yeah. So we'll check back in a bit. Right, and that's me done, for the most part. I've uh, leveled all that off, got it all to roughly 225, 230 roughly. So once Dad gets back, we'll uh, we'll do that whackering. And I've um, gone around, gone around the edge, and just filled up with stone. We've left this bit out so we can make room for our profiles. Yeah, it's me uh, waiting for Dad now, as usual. When you see this, Dad, you playing it. So yeah, he's off to get the sand for this part. 
And for now, I'm just going to uh, have a Pepsi Max and wait. Listen to Ghost. Since uh, since he's gone, I always uh, hijack the radio, put my Bluetooth on, so all the neighbours get a nice taste of uh, heavy metal. So, uh, yeah, I will catch you when Dad comes back. Tip the barrow. Yeah. Gates the wall. So yeah, we're going to give this a check now. I went around with the air uh, tam just to get the edges where Dad couldn't uh, get the whack air, so before he called me an idiot, that's what I was doing. So um, we're going to get the tamp over now and give it a measure, see if we need any more stones in any low spots or drag it from any high spots. Got a, got a sand line to go in as well to bring it to. Yeah. So let's take you off here. And uh, we'll pop you here for now. Go. The patch, the patches are open, so we can transfer the house level into our get into our conservatory because it's the doors are coming out, so it's going to be level through. Close up on the hat. It's the wrong way, isn't it? No. Look, it is on there. Oh, that's not the. Let's see, forward facing. I see. Screen. So, yeah, we have, a, we have a forward facing screen on the GoPro now. That's the one that's the screen. So, yeah, so um, we've done the, the, the measuring, got the stone we needed in. Transferred the level. So we'll Transferred the level, yep, I'll show you that now. So, it'd be very hard to see, but there, there it is. Got a pencil line or a pen line. So, off. Our level is right to the bottom of this brick, which is quite handy. And there's um, no need for any timber it's, this time. No, that's the that's the door threshold level. Door threshold level. So we transfer level. that across to there, and we measure back down. It was 83 mil to the, to 83, the floor yeah. inside. 
so it's 83 or 4, maybe 85 to the block. We're better slightly low, and then be, if you're a bit lower, a bit of um, self level can bring it all right. You don't want to be high, otherwise, you're self leveling the whole room in there. Yeah, so we don't need any 4B1, like I just said, which is great. Just yeah, don't never just assume your slab is exact is DPC because the last two we've done one had an asphalt floor in it, which brought the different floor level up and the other one I don't know what the floor was inside that one but um, that needed bringing up the same 4B1 but look this is a nice straightforward one this one so what we're doing now is we're going to get the grit sand in which Dad managed to get from B&Q for so good morning so far yeah right let's get a whacker in <sighs> and there we go whack it up so now Grit sand. So let's get this sand in. There, sand's in, ready for visqueen. So, yeah, we're done with the whacker and uh, good job as well. Just run out of fuel. So, uh, last little bit we had to do uh, the old fashioned way, but still pretty good. We've got our nice thin layer. We used about three and a half bags. So, uh, We've got some ready for another extension or whatever next anyway. So like Dad said, visqueen time and then it'll be the jab light, another layer of visqueen. Then that'll be us for the day. Come do the concrete tomorrow. We hope. We hope, yeah. So let's uh let's crack on, shall we? Let's go grab this visqueen from the van.
There you go, quarter two. <laughs> Took us a while, but we weren't rushing. It's all we've had to do all day, so still getting nearly dart out of it. So we're done. You've seen all this on the time lapse and everything, so there's our visqueen. screen. There's our cold bridging strip. That goes down 225mm right down to the bottom of that block. And that's trapped in by the polystyrene underneath that, which is 125 jab. Took plenty of pictures for building control in case they can't come and see it. And always tape it into the corners. So you've got concrete right into your corners. So yeah, hopefully it don't rain overnight. But who knows? So um yeah, that's how um how to prepare a slab for concrete. A four inch ground I think it's ground bearing slab, so it's not reinforced, it just sits on the ground, it's whackered underneath. So uh, yeah, we'll um they see you later in this video. Awesome. Here we go, Monday the eighth I think. Yeah. Monday the eighth of November. Uh, about nine o'clock, we've been to Hodgson's to pick up our acros and strong boys for the steels. Don't need them yet, but it's a it's a weekly hire, so they're here ready, just while we had a bit of extra time. Rang the concrete this morning at half seven, and they've fitted us in after half ten, which is great. That's what kept us back on track, which is a massive help. Um, yeah, we did, we did a live last night, that was a good laugh. Um, we on for an hour and a half, had a few people in, even Martin. With Martin in live. So yeah, we're all set. Alex has set the ramp up for the barrows. Ready to go. Can of Pepsi, coffee. So um yeah, we'll get back to you when we've um when we're starting to get the concrete in. Catching a bit. There we have it, all our gears arrived. Brick store have just left. So, furrows came this morning, there's our ton of sand, slowly filling up with leaves like everything else. <laughs> there's our fibre lights, plenty of them, we've just ordered a full pack so we're going to have some spare, they can go home. And these are, where's it written? Old English, Throckley Old English they're called. So, um, I think I've already shown you these but you'll see. They're rustic, red rustic, but they have a... They have like tar spots in them. R lovely looking brick. So that's the best we can get because you can't get these. You just can't get them. So um, we've got samples of these for the customer to have a look and he's happy with them. So there's about 700 there I think. So while we're waiting for the concrete, we're going to start getting them round. So look at that, 1.2 tonnes in there, a pack of 500. So yeah, let's get them around the back. I'll wait for our concrete. Time to get them on. Get our concrete face on. If we're just set down for dinner. Just get me butties, just about to eat me banana. And that happened. The boys are back. So, waiting for us to get out of the van now. And uh, we'll get you set up for the uh, the big pour. Wagon fixed. Another bro. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 Let's 
get this tampon on me. Shower to sheet. Um, right. Concrete's in, as you can clearly see. But um, so Dad's just going to go sort out paying the concrete now. I'm going to uh, scrape off the concrete off of the, the screen slash the bricks and blocks. Then tamps there, all set up. So we'll uh, get this tamped, tamped and screeded, so, uh, yeah, get it all nice. Make sure that the cat doesn't come out and leave some paw prints in, because that'll be uh, not ideal. So uh, let's do it. Um, come on. Have you eaten yours? Yeah, I've eaten mine. And we'll, are we going to be here all day? Do you not want it? I might save it for later then if you're not having it. Okay. If we're all day I'll, have, I'll save it for a bit later. Well, we need to get a mix in. I'm, I tell you, I'm probably going back to the profile, I might just put a small corner up there. Get that set up. Enough to run us. Yeah, we can set that up as well. Put a corner up there so we can start. Wait, we can't, can we? Why? We need blue engineering bricks. Oh shit. I'm sure I can hear Forgive my language. If I'm not here all day, then I'm not going to be a different type of that, are we? I'm, I'm just debating when I can eat my uh, pancake or not. I don't want to be hungry later on. I'm not using that one.
And there we have it. Again, just took our time, made sure it was all right. So a nice billiard table flat floor, which is great. Made up with that now. Alex is just cleaning everything up. We had half a bar of concrete left over, which is always good. Always better to have some left over. Earlier videos, we all seem to run out. We don't do that anymore. And yeah, we're ready to start some brickwork now. Here's the main man. <laughs> uh, yeah, get these wellies cleaned up, get my boots on, get a mix on and get a bit of brickwork in. So we're... Uh, yeah, we'll come back to you, probably in a bit of a time, that's while I get this battery charged. So, see you in a bit. Transformed. Yeah. Gone old and ugly. <laughs> we have a we have a start wall. Dad's made a start on the wall. Yeah, it's very rare. I think I filmed it on that time lapse. Not having seen me doing those, building a corner. We were just talking yesterday on the live about uh, you, we don't really like doing corners. But, um, profiles aren't in the van, so it would make going home early. Putting the corner up or rushing back. Getting the what a shame. Go home early. What a shame. So uh, the corner went up just to get a mix up. Get, just get a start. We kicked our, shot ourselves in the foot because that's really our extra thing. We should have backed back. But we're just trying to get as much great work as we can today. We'll have to uh, parkour. Yeah. yeah. We just have to do one thing, some past things on the switch all the time. Yeah. yeah well, just go round. Yeah, yeah well, and. Around. I mean, the walls only come up to like here, so we can we can pass things through, can't we? Yeah, but um, yeah, concrete's going off nicely. We'll make sure the cat doesn't come out, yeah. and uh, leave its little footprints all over. Yeah. Okay, you can see a reflection in it, and uh, obviously damp courses on. Obviously, tie tie wires right there. Extra, extra for the insulation to sit on. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Tie wire course on this one. Brick jackets are on. Yep. It's just trying to rain on us. Representing. Uh, mix is empty. And fixed. And fixed, yeah. Welded Dad's mate Ed got it welded again. There it is. He's also welded the other blade as well. It's uh, it's falling apart really. We need to uh, let's get a new one. And uh, another tie going in to uh, prove to you all that we have ties. The screwing wall ties going in. These things are solid. Yeah, and the plugs. The, the, we've got. A, we've recently got some new plugs, and bloody hell, they work. Really good. They're like you twist them for a little bit, and you think they're not doing anything. Then like, but he grips it. But is a better look at them anyway. Uh, so they're, they're never going to pull out because they're in on an angle. So they go into the brick, not just into the mortar. Bend them down. Then get your trowel. Slide your trowel under. It stops you destroying your brickwork. That was a good one. 
So yeah, that's what they look like. They're, they're usually a bit wider, but we squeeze them down a little bit so they can... Uh, the frame ties, they, they come like that. So we squeeze them down to fit them in. Um, the, the reason we use these as opposed to the bluebirds, which we used to do, is um, they're all one piece. They're not welded together like... Um, yeah, we did have a couple of things on the bluebirds. Blue yeah, so these ones are all one piece of metal. There won't be any rusting or like breaking off with it. It's nice and solid. But, uh, but yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, um, I've, I've drilled out the profile holes for, um, for the next time. And I've went across and fixed up the uh, brickwork, the the brickwork there because um, just to hose down the path a little bit, and obviously we sort of bounced off and sprayed the wall a bit. So yeah, surely concrete did a delivery, which is great. Yeah, that's that saved us a whole, that saved us a day, that we lost a whole day. Yeah, I'll I'll say about that in a second. So uh, I've just uh, repointed it, just uh, repointed it all, as you can see. Uh, so I'm just going to point the brickwork now, do a bit more tidying up before it gets too dark. Bucket of mortar for popper first. Bucket of mortar for pops. And uh, yeah, uh, anything else I need to summarise. Don't forget your ties, Dad. Right. Um, yeah, so mortar, joint up, tidy up, get home. It's going dark now. Yeah, it's going dark now, yeah, so. Right, we'll uh, throw you on time lapse or something then. And, uh, There we have it. Got the slab in early enough to get us a mix in the afternoon. So that, that's, that mix has done us nearly 10 courses. There's only one more course on that and then the pillars start. One and a half, three, three. And then then again there, 11 courses. And then the big door here. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're cruising now. Unfortunately, it's forecast rain tomorrow. So we're gonna see if we can get, get sheltered and, make a start on these steels, which haven't been delivered yet, but we, can, we know how big they are and we can get the hold taken out and get the trestle set up, pick up a couple of it before sheets to cover the, the slab with just to protect it. Don't want to be dropping anything on that straight away. So, um, yeah, Alex just finished tidying up. What was that asked for then, Al? Oh, to cover up the wall. Yeah. We just need something to cover that wall. I think maybe uh, roll the damp course out with the hessian on top. So yeah, there you have it. And it's, um, It's a decent o'clock. 
it's still light, we're packing up. So yeah, we'll be back here tomorrow doing something. We don't know what yet. Brickwork hopefully, but more than likely a bit of demolition tomorrow. Here he comes. So we'll um, catch you in the morning. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'll edit it out. I'm used to editing you on your phone out. Got half a hard drive, you like that. Oh yeah, when you, yeah. you're on your yeah. phone as well. Yeah. Checking YouTube comments in the middle of the day. Just checking it didn't damage that so that doesn't kill me. What are you doing? Nothing. Mm, I'm sure I'll find out when I start editing. Right.